Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the diamond blister stitch. As you can see, it's a really pretty pattern. It works up in these little diagonal um, stripes which form your diamonds and it's super easy once you get the hang of it. It is an eight row repeat. So I'm going to walk you through that today. Before we get started, I do wrap my yarn a little differently than other knitters. It's the way I learned how to knit, so if it confuses you a little bit, feel free to find another tutorial. Just do it in the nice way. And without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so for today's um, stitch, what you're going to want to do is cast on in multiples of 4 plus 2. So I cast on 16, and then I added an additional 2 for a total of 18 stitches. And those two extra stitches are for selvage. Okay, so I'm going to start. To begin this pattern, what we're going to do is work our selvage stitch, which I always knit mine, but you are more than welcome to do whatever. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm going to do is start the pattern of knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way across. And this will be the same pattern that we'll use on row 5. So I'm going to knit one. I'm going to bring my yarn forward and purl. And if you're not sure how to knit and purl, I do have beginner tutorials back on my channel. They're all in an organized playlist. Alright, and I'm ending on a knit one, and then I work my border stitch. Alright, and now I'm ready to move on to row two. Alright, so the pattern for row two, as well as all the even rows, is basically that we're going to be doing the reverse of what we just did. So what I want to do is work my border stitch as I have done in previous rows and then I'm going to start off purling one and then knitting one. So purl one, knit one. So you want to really be watchful with this stitch so that you're doing your even rows properly. We're just gonna purl one, knit one all the way across. Alright, and we're gonna end on a selvage stitch. And knit one and then you're gonna work your selvage stitch. Okay. And that is row two. Now we're going to move on to row three. Row three. So row three is going to be us working our selvage stitch. And feel free to sew in your strings along the way so they don't get in your way. So I'm going to work my selvage stitch. And then we're going to purl one. We're going to knit three all the way across. So one, two, three. And then we're going to bring our yarn forward and we are going to curl one, knit three. Knit three. 
last repetition, curl one. Knit three. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna finish off on our selvage stitch. Such a weird word to say. All right. And this is what we have so far. And we can move on to row four. Row four, we're gonna work our border stitch. And now we're going to do the reverse of what we did last row. So now, instead of purling one and knitting three, we're going to be purl three, knit one. So bring my yarn forward, and I'm just going to purl these first three, one. forward and I'm going to purl three. All the way across this row. All right, so now we have finished row four and we're ready to move on to row five. So, what we're going to do there is again, like we did on row one, we are just going to work our border stitch. And then we are going to knit one, purl one, all the way across. Alright, and we're going to finish off row 5 with our border stitch, and we can move on to row 6. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. Now row 6, we're going to turn our work. And like I said, with every even row, we are going to work our border stitch as normal. And then we are just going to knit these as they appear on the other side. So last row I ended with a purl one, now I'm just going to, I'm sorry, I ended it with a knit one. So I'm going to come forward and I'm going to purl one, knit one, or do the exact opposite of what I did last row. So purl one, knit one. Curl one, knit one, all the way across.
All right, row seven. Row seven, we are going to work our selvage stitch as normal. Get my life together. And then we are going to knit two. So one. Two. I'm gonna bring the yarn forward to purl one. And then we're gonna knit one. Okay, so that's knit two. Pearl one, knit one. All the way across. Alright, and we're going to end with our border stitch. Okay, and now we're going to do row 8, which is the last row in our repeat, and that will consist of, you guessed it, border stitch. And then we're going to do the reverse of what we did. So we're going to do a purl one. Knit one. Oops. Knit one. And then we're going to purl two. Okay, and then we repeat that. So we're going to purl one, we're going to knit one, we're going to purl two. All the way across. I'll meet you back when I hit the end of my row. Alright, we're going to work that last border stitch. Okay. And so, when you're done, you should have this pattern that starts working up these little diamonds as the name suggests it's called the diamond blister stitch so like this swatch here i did a couple of them they're really evident here which is really really cool and you have this really strong diagonal line running between your diamonds it's so beautiful and then it's also really stretchy so it's basically like a ribbing but with diamonds in it you know so 
do with it what you will i hope today's tutorial was helpful for you all if so don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content like this and ring that notification bell because that subscribe button doesn't do what it used to do um, also, don't forget to check out my other social media where I post updates on projects and other things like that regarding the channel. And until next time guys, happy making!